The Bethesda Foundation is calling for nominations now for the Mary Jo Angels Award. And guess who we have here with us today? Uh, none other than Spencer and Dana Cropper, the son and daughter-in-law of Mary Jo Cropper, here to tell us more about the award and the woman it's named for. I, I, I was telling you during the break, you know, that's where I get my mammogram, is at Bethesda at the Mary Jo Cropper um, facility there, mm -hmm. clinic. And so let's, let's start with that. What, what do sure. you want to say about her legacy? Sure, I appreciate it. First, Julie, thanks for having us on. Mm -hmm. um, Mom, uh, Mary Jo Cropper, was an 18-year breast cancer survivor who, uh, during her journey, just had a special gift of being able to um, be present in other people's lives. I mean, she sent cards and letters of encouragement and gifts to other cancer patients. Thinking about others while in her own suffering it, and challenge. It, exactly, and not just other patients, but actually some of her healthcare team members yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. And um, shortly after her passing in 2011, we were approached uh, from uh, the Bethesda Foundation, Mary Fisher at the Bethesda Foundation, and Dr. Susan Weinberg, who was the director, uh -huh. um, and said, why don't we set up an event each year where we recognize and celebrate other individuals who had that same spirit of care and compassion. And, uh, and we did so. We, so we started in 2011, mm -hmm. 14 years later, we've recognized uh, some amazing individuals, heard some incredible stories, and all the while raised nearly $4 million. How about that? Mm -hmm. How about that? Yeah. And why is this so meaningful to you And in this way, to say we're going to honor people who had that same spirit? Well, it's important because this is such a, it's a personal um, just a way to honor Mary Jo and, and the way that she lived her life, always giving to others and recognizing that um, cancer's, a, cancer's a journey and you can face it in any number of ways and her, her decision was to help others get through it. Um, we have three daughters and we know that um, you know, breast cancer is, is a big deal for all women. Yeah. And so it's, it's in important. the family, which makes it hit even closer. And mm -hmm. it's, it's sometimes you feel like not if, but when, and how do, how do we move forward? And, mm -hmm. but there's something about that spirit when someone is more about helping others and lifting up others mm -hmm. that we want to see rewarded. So, so if someone wants to, if you have someone in mind that you think mm -hmm. we have information on the screen here, how, how does this nomination process work? So they can reach out through the information on the screen um, or directly contact the Bethesda Foundation. Submit a nomination. Uh, the awards are in October. Um, I would say a lot of our nominations actually come from healthcare team members, uh -huh. uh, but mm -hmm. it can come from anybody. They see a special patient or a special, mm -hmm. it can be anybody that exemplifies it, this? It, anyone, mm -hmm. anyone who just has that ability to reach out and help others who are battling cancer. Um, yeah and help lighten their burden a little bit. When I go to that surveymonkey.com, am I, do you have to write an essay? How much no. Do I, no. no I, look, I write very quickly, this is my thing. Most people are like, ooh, ooh, there's writing involved, I'm not doing it. No, it's just You're exactly right, Julie. Yeah. That, that is something that yeah. we, we recognized and just most recently have made it much easier okay. to, to nominate someone. Yeah, it's a simple form and yeah. we'll follow back up with you. So if mm -hmm. we need more information, we will follow back up with you yeah. and get that information. The important part is, is just share. There are people out there and we want to hear their stories. That's a beautiful thing to do. Mm -hmm. Thank you again mm -hmm. and again. Sorry for your loss, oh, but thank you. so many beautiful things coming um, from your mother's. Uh, difficulty. Well, I appreciate mm -hmm. it. And how she lived. Yeah. Very Thank good. you, Julie. All right. We'll be right back.